Hello everybody, so today I decided to do a video um, of me coloring my hair with this Lush um, hair dye. I'll show you more of that later, but uh, I wanted to show you the state of my hair right now. Um, yeah, like I realized that I have a lot of buildup from using this product. Uh, which is really really great. This product is really great, but it also is kind of like a conditioner So what happens is it just kind of stays in your hair after you use it um, So yeah, my plan is to just dye my hair or at least First of all the dye doesn't really do a crazy job like an amazing job at like color or whatever but it certainly brings something it, it makes the hair fuller usually and like yeah at least it will get rid of these white uh, build-up spots that I have here. They're not lint, it's just build-up, I think. Maybe it is lint, some of it, but a lot of it is just build-up. So I'm hoping to get rid of that, uh, and I will try to keep this video super short. And by super short, I mean under 10 minutes. But let's get started. To start off, I'm just going to wash my hair. I showed you this before in the last video, but I'll be washing my hair with this stimulating... Uh, clarifying shampoo and I've been using it since I started my journey um, so I'm almost done I guess but it goes such a long way like a little goes a long way when you use it it does have that sort of tingly feeling to it so um, that kind of feels nice I don't know that it actually does anything that way but it feels nice and so I'm gonna use that and then as soon as I'm done that then I'll prepare the dye and I'll start applying it and I'll show you how I'm doing it so I have successfully washed my hair. That is what the hair looks like after it's washed. Yeah, this uh, shampoo really strips all the oils off the hair which is exactly what I need and I was trying to see if that one area is still white but it seems to have gone away but yeah I think it's built up like all that stuff is built up but that's okay so now we're gonna do the the henna so let's do it together So this is the dye I'm using, Oops. like that. Um, it's a little bit of a situation because I can't find my gloves. So I'm just going to have to use like a plastic bag and hope for the best kind of thing. Um, I also put a towel at the, uh, on the floor because it's probably a good idea to do that. I'm going to just start at the front. Oh, so I was avoiding and it just happened. The bathroom is white so it's a good idea to have like... Um, lots of protective stuff on your counters and stuff like that because the stuff stains and it's difficult to get it out i am done with the um, I have a friend here with me. <laughs> um, I'm done with the application of this thing. It was so messy because, well, I've forgotten just how messy it is. And I just ended up using the entire, the rest of the bar because I don't want to have to use it again, to be honest. It's too messy for what it is. And Paul, no, you can't take my hair. Um, and so, yes, yes, that's right. So I have to uh, wear this cap probably for the rest of the day and um, hopefully it'll look like decent. Hey, stop stripping me. 
<laughs> Anyways, I will probably sign off now. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Yes. Exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll check in later when this thing comes off. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. It sounds weird to say bye to yourself, but yeah. That's what we YouTubers do, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so it's been about three hours, I think, since I've had this in my hair. And so I'm just about to wash it. I decided to come downstairs to do it here because I'm not about to stain the washroom upstairs. So whenever I have this thing to do, I always just use the downstairs shower because, mm -mm, nope. <laughs> okay, so very quickly before I rinse it all out, that's what it looks like. Um, it's pretty grainy. So the last time I remember when I did this, I had to rinse it out like 10 times or something like that. And even then it was still pretty muddy or grainy, like it felt like grit, which is why I probably would never use this again, just because <clears throat> for when you have locks, you're not trying to get stuff stuck in between your, your, your hair. So, cause it's hard to take it out. But if you have natural hair, like that's open and stuff like that, you can just do that because yeah, you can. It's a really great hair treatment that way. I am using the Heads and Shoulders um, shampoo that I normally use. It's a shampoo and conditioner. And then I guess I'll check in once I rinse it out as much as possible. So this is the final product. Um, obviously, oops, sorry, the light. But obviously the color is pretty much still the same in my opinion i mean you can see tiny hints of like brown if you squint but uh i'm trying to get into the light so that you can just see but um but essentially it's pretty much the same as it was before color wise but um i know that for sure this thing does something to your the density like the fullness of your hair so it, it will look way fuller once it dries out i know and um and also i noticed that i experienced less shedding after doing this the last time and so maybe this will help as well but the bottom line is um my opinion of this product is if you have hair that is not locked then it's a great product. I've used it in the past before, like when I had natural hair, regular hair, and I used to really enjoy it, which is why I bought it for my micro locks. But then, but yeah, like I, I would maybe caution against people who have micro locks or any locks really to use this because it, it has a lot of residue. Like I think you wash your hair 15 times, um, I, like rinse, rinse it out 15 times or I don't know 10 times or something like that um, And I know I still have some bits off like the What you call it like some product in my hair, so Yeah, but other than that I do like it. I do like well. We all like clean hair, but um, Yeah, like I noticed some hints of brown in it I'll try and put a picture um, of when I have it completely dry, maybe later or tomorrow. But yeah, other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.